John won the toss and will throw first. Game on! And we're all ready for the men's second semifinal. John Lowe and Dave Askew and at stake here. 81. A berth in the final and a chance to play the power, Phil Taylor. And both Askew and Lower on this stage at the Golden Harvest for the first time. 121. What did you say? You've got a very good contrast. You've got John Lowe, the Mr. Experience. Dave, one of the young players who 85. a lot of players know that is capable of winning major tournaments. So it'll be a really interesting match. This is a best of seven, best of seven sets, and uh, best of three legs in each set. 100! Talking about the, the perfect game, John Lowe in 1984 against myself hit the first perfect game on TV and won 102,000 pounds. Set himself up quite nicely for a while after that. He certainly did. In actual fact, there's only been two uh, nine dark games on television, and uh, Paul Lim from America 16. done it a few years ago, in the World Championship. So, but uh, this guy's uh, so been a close friend of mine for many years, and. Uh, the experience about of him uh, out on stage is uh, second to none. Dave, you require 139. If he hits a treble 20, he should look for a 19 to take the odd one off. 59. John, you require 151. Dave, you require 80. Ask you with a chance to get uh, the first leg here in the first set. Game shot in the first leg. And Dave he does it. You. Getting a leg up on John Lowe. Second leg is Dave to throw first. Game on. Well, it's a confident start for Dave. Scored well and good finishing. And any finish like the 80s, 84s, they're always good for your confidence. 100! You know yourself, Keith, that uh, finishing like that sort of really does boost your confidence. And uh, But I don't think it would really worry John too early in this match that uh, Dave took that first leg. So a long way to go, and uh, I'm sure we'll see some tremendous 81. starts. But as you say as well, Cliff, really, you can't afford to lose too many games when you've had the throw. I mean, that was against the darts. And... Very quickly, you could be two sets down. One hundred. John gets back straight away. Forty-one. Dave's certainly got into a bit of a rhythm here, and uh, as I say, you know, John's got to uh, get geared up a little bit here, I think. People always, always said that John's got the perfect throw. If you was going to do a video on how you should stand when you actually throw a dart, it really is perfect. He just stands there, just the arm moves, um, and once again, total concentration. Is he what would you, you would consider a real technician of the sport? To I think that, uh, you know, as, as Keith said, you know, that he does have the per perfect stance and, uh, you know, if any youngsters 60. were modelling themselves on a dark player, the way John throws, well, you know, he would be the perfect answer. Dave's got a big lead here. John needs to really start scoring a lot better. He's not playing too good at the moment. 85. But it's plenty of time to Dave, get back in. 20. Game shot in the first set. 
So Dave Askew gets the first two legs and uh, wins the first set in this best of seven. Second set, first leg is Dave to throw first. Game on! But I guess the heartening thing for uh, John, at least, is that this is a best of seven and plenty of time. Well, yeah, you know, but uh, as I say, I don't think John's playing as well as he can do. And uh, as I say, he can get away in this 16. game real quick. So he's really got to get back in the, into this uh, match in this set. But you say it's a very big tournament, a great tournament for Dave, who he could win the Golden Harvest. Uh, Molson, who have now signed another three years, 100. which is great for us players. And next year, the total prize money will be $400,000. So that's absolutely superb. 60. And if all goes as planned with that added money, uh, even more even more players will be here next year. Uh, virtually all of them were here this year anyway, but uh, uh, the, the desire to come here. It's the, uh, probably the most quality field that uh, I've seen in quite a few years. That you've probably got the top 50 players in the world playing in the Harvest uh, event, and uh, it's, um, it's great to see all the players here. Even uh, 10 from Belgium this year, and uh, they're thinking maybe as many as 40 or 50 from Belgium will come next year. So truly a, a global event. But there's some uh, people come from Japan for the second year running. Right. So that that's only can only help the sport, and we a sport has to be worldwide. And you know this is the best Open in the world, and we we've already said it's the third 100. biggest tournament in the world. Dave here is looking for a big shot here to leave yourself a chance for a shot out in the next throw. This would be a Don't great finish. This is a pressure shot, Keith. Two treble twenties for double eighteen. He should be looking ready for the single 11 here for the bullseye. Double 14 for the first leg. Game shot in the 